So there's never been a victory for Mohan on the PSA World Tour. There's been a couple of victories here and there in leagues. Well, that is a severe length from Mohamed El Shabag. He got the racket head nice and high above Five the ball, went down and across to fade that length into that back left hand corner. Yeah, well, that's the target. Seems <laughs> well, he is in the zone here, Mohamed El Shabagi. Everything's coming off. Uh, Shabagi rampage. 11 1. So Mohamed El Shabagi Mohamed. showing why Mohamed he is world number one. one. To love. Playing against his brother. That backhand drop there from Mohamed El Shabagi seemed to take eternity to come down, but it was enough. Some serious schlass on the ball. <laughs> it was some schlass. Just try the floor easy. 11 8, game to Marwin, one game all. But what's more unbelievable, if you look at the bottom of that uh, graphic there, PJ. Well, that is unbelievable. It's not often we see that. But when we do, it's a thing of beauty, total parity, absolutely nothing in it. Well, Down. it is uh, it's a nerve-wracking day of squash, the quarterfinals here. Even the crew. 4-3. Absolutely yeah. nightmare. Yeah. Uh, it's quality. He's started to find his range a little bit here in the late Eight stage six. of this third game. Crucial third game. Game ball for my one. Oh, just stayed in. It's appealing it though. Oh, Mohammed's here. Hanging on for dear life. This is outrageous. Goodness me, that's a great drop shot from Shabani Senior. No Video referee decision. No, no. Shot comes in from Mohammed. That's a, a let ball at most. Sorry, I'm getting uh, some background interference. It went fuzzy when you said that. I heard some other voices. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. 13 11. Well, there you go. Mohammed can't believe it. The Battle of the Brothers. He's grinning away to himself. Quality. Down. Wonderful touch from Moen El Shabagi. Ball comes out into the middle of the court here, just delicately Hand phased out. the racket. Oh, one's obviously at the stage, we probably get a bit fed up with the scalpings. Didn't quite find the nick on that one. His brother did. Low kill, so Mohamed pushing on 7 4. Just going to be fine for all the squash fans around the world, particularly in Bristol, to see a five game thriller between the two. Hopefully, Marwan can back up for the fifth Down. because he's looking uh, 11 5 quite war weary out there. Two games all. Oh. Sparked up Marwan as well. There's an urgency about him. It's good hands. He made that look easy, Mohammed, and it wasn't. It's a really good improvisation. The ball was kind of hit awkwardly at him. Marwan threw. Hand out, 4 5. Yeah. To Mohammed. Get to that really close uh, eight stage. Then I think he's, he's got a chance. He's got a close chance. Oh, that's out. 
outrageous nice. finish. Terrific finish. Plucked out of the air by Marwan. Did well to maintain his balance here for, before he gets this crucial rally underway. 8 7, 2 all. This is, Make that eight all. This is getting this very is tense. Getting picture. very edgy, Joey. Very, very edgy. He's done it. He's done it. Marwan's Max taken down his brother. He's finally beaten him. 3 2. Three games to two. I think he's going to be very emotional because it's the first time he's ever beaten him. It's lovely to see. First time he's ever beaten him on the PSA World Tour. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm, I'm only here because of him. Uh, whatever I've achieved in squash, I think I've, I've done it because of him. You know, he, he taught me everything. He's, he's happy for me today. But we've been, uh, we've been dealing with a lot of things off the court. Uh, but if I have to choose one player that will come back from anything, it's going to be my brother. You know, he's got, he's got that personality, and uh, I just, uh, I just can't wait to see him dominating, dominating the sport again, once again. You know, he's, he's such an, uh, he's such an amazing player. Well, the uh, Shabagi brothers have been warming up by the side of us here. The atmosphere is ecstatic. Well, both these guys. Marwan at the age of 14, Mohammed when he was 15, came to live and train in England. So it's quite fitting that they're playing a world championship in England. Yeah, that's brilliant. Well, that's the clinical finishing of the Jackal, as he's known on the PSA World Tour, Marwan El Shabagi. And out, one, three. That huge forehand that uh, certainly I feel is uh, up there with over 180 mile an hour pace. Now, speaking of pace, Mohammed here managing to get this ball back cross court Nine across the four. body of Marwan. Five game to Mohammed. Mohammed leads one game to love. So another error ending that first game. <laughs> You've not got a chance to breathe, you yeah. know, let alone think. Yeah. And that's the sort of pressure that he, he's putting you under. But no, great that the crowd are getting uh, behind both these guys because there was the danger when it's two siblings, they don't know who to cheer for. And just imagine if it was an English player playing today, the atmosphere would be something else. <laughs> well, another response from Marwan, another roar from the crowd, deceiving his brother straight down the line. The body language of Mohammed through the middle of that rally did look ever so slightly nervous. Yeah. Well, Marwan El Shabani has taken the second game. The crowd absolutely love it. He did look a little bit flat there, didn't he, when he was uh, going to, to serve the ball? And that's the shot that puts so many players under pressure. Poor position with his footwork there, really, for Marwan. Eight Fantastic five. lob as well from Mohamed. I think that's an area of his game he's really improved. Well, Marwan's unleashing it now, and he's actually started to step up the court a little bit in response to the two-point lead of Mohamed. Box 
Seven. So Roy eight. Gingell feeling that that was uh, a clear no let. So three game balls for Mohamed El Shabagi to go 2 1 up in this final. Oh, he's had a shocker. He's had a shocker there. So a poor error. That was error number 13 for Marwan El Shabagi. The average rally, average shot per rally is up to 20 now. Third game, we're at 11. So it's doubled for this fourth. He's done it twice. Oh, so that taste of his own. Well, we've seen two rallies where he's had his two strength areas. Previously, the front backhand, and this is the mid area. Very, very strong. It was set up for him, but there. Great oh. width. Perfect width from Mohamed. Front right hand corner. Cross court into the opposite nick. Well. <laughs> He hit five of those against Gregory Gaultier. How edgy is this now, guys? That's a clever shot. <laughs> oh, He's looking rather ragged here, my one. Hanging on for dear life. But the width is here. They love it. Marwan El Shabagi's grunting away. Oh, that is lethal from the jackal. Uh, <laughs> I do feel that he's... Mohamed stopped, if you remember, and it just creeped up. And I thought yes. then that Mohamed had come under the... So Marwan had come under the ball a little bit, and that one, he just let it drop, didn't he? And... This is the time when you want your oh! technique, you want your technique wow. to sit under pressure exactly like that. Wow, there. Well, that was... I mean, he's always had this quality, Seven, Mohamed El Shabagi, the fearless quality. Well, we've got four championship balls for Mohamed El Shabagi, his third final. He's done it, Mohamed El Shabagi's done it. Marwan running out to choose at the end there. 11-5, So Mohamed El Shabagi, his third World Championship final. He gets the title. Some terrific squash between the two brothers. It's a title that I waited for quite for, for a lot of years to win it and uh, to have that match against my brother, to live a moment like that, to share these moments, both of us together, is such a special feeling. And uh, it's moments like these, you know, we're going to remember for the rest of our life. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the East Winter Garden. Tonight is semi-finals night in the 15th Canary Wharf Classic. As you already know, two brothers tonight battling for a place in the final. Someone that hasn't won a match before this year in this tournament and doesn't like the best of three, he's doing very well. Well, uh, he can release himself. He had his uh, say on what he thought about the best of three, and that's fair enough. And he's back to best of five now, and he is renowned as being a very good starter, particularly as he's been moving up into the Eight, top four in the world. Two. He knows how to get inside his brother's head. Up. Mohamed El Shabagi. It's pretty similar at least. Ah! Well, there's the draw for Marwan. Game to Marwan. So Marwan leads one game to game. Good hard-working rally here. Oh, what a shot. Oh, 
Yeah, he stretched out beautifully on this one. He was kind of struggling behind his brother for the majority of that rally. You know, you've got the Jekyll against the Beast, which uh, <laughs> obviously the nickname for a reason. Mohammed with the raw strength that he's channeling now. You never know. I mean, he's, uh, the future is certainly very, very bright. Getting brighter for Marwan. But well, they're producing terrific squash here now. And Things up. have settled down slightly. Thought about the between the legs. shot and he's, he's crowding him he's, he's not giving him any space yeah, no, it's a strike. Shot. it is a strike not up. well that's an area that Marwan Al Shabagi has become Hand out. deadly in six. over the last Three. five or six months Touch on the back -hand side again. Oh. <laughs> well, he really stitched wow. himself up here because he ran through the shot at the front left hand corner, Marwan. And heaven knows what he was doing. Oh. Look at that. Left himself open and some severe hitting from well, Mohammed going That was a reverse angle, angle that yeah. he did against Rosner. Completely didn't flummoxed Rosner, didn't it? Yeah, didn't fool the jackal though. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's a uh, a celebration from Mohamed Al Shabagi. I'll tell you what, Parky, it's good that he's uh, been working on his abs and core stability. He was walloping himself there. <laughs> from Marwan on that shot. More rotation of the shoulders, getting a heavier hit through. Really went, whipped his shoulders through that one, Parky. She put him off his own shot. So game ball for Marwan El Shabagi for a 2-1 lead. Wow. First time of asking. No chance here from Mohamed. He's going to give it a go on the review. That's a great shot. It is an no let. No let, this is not help. It's the right decision. Game to my one. Thought mentally he would have uh, had a bit more of an edge being 2 1 up, but it seems that he's starting to kind of lose his concentration or even get nervous. Or both. I think it's a combination of that, those two things, and Mohammed starting to play a little bit better. Well, he's using more variation, Mohammed. He was trying to yeah. beat his brother off court. He's actually slowed, slowed the pace down. One for the books. I didn't expect this for the fourth game, particularly for it to be so light. He's not moved for that. 11 3. Game to Mohammed. So, Mohammed El Shabagi, who struts off court. Well, somebody thought that was out of court, but it was in. Oh, oh. wow, he's got it. Yep. Wow. Marwan got it there. Nice and low. Well, they couldn't get any tighter. Why did he try and swing at that? The Head ball up. was absolutely clinging Seven. to the side wall. Crowd getting so into this. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. 11 8. Next to Mohammed. So Mohamed Al Shabagi fights that last rally. 8 11, 11 8, 11 13. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to meet our next semi finalists? Let's hear it for Marwan El Shabagi. Let's hear it for his brother, Mohamed El Shabagi.
There, the growl from the beast. It's good length hitting now. That is beautiful. That's more like it. Clean hitting to the back of the court. Seven, winning six, outright. Nine. To roll in the boast off that last ball. Down. Four game balls, another error. So, 11, six, game to Marwan. first blood Marwan goes leads, to the nodding jackal. Retrieval again, another lengthy rally. It's been very, very hard working squash here at the start of the second game. Seven minutes in, and we're only up to 3 2 on the scoreboard. If oh, that is an unbelievable recovery. Oh, he's still in the rally. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, yeah. that was wild. He deserved that. Fourth attendant, please. He deserved that, Fourth, Mohammed. He was, getting, he was a bit wild with his body. He was taking more care about kind of body checking Marwan. There's the <laughs> collapse, I would say, rather than a dive. But this was wild. He was really trying to launch into Marwan there. <laughs> Cutting the ball off now, he's really starting to step up. Yeah, he's taking Nine that ball six. much earlier and he's cutting the uh, line down from Marwan. Well, it's the tee position is aggressive, isn't it? He's the, there's a pecking order thing going on within the family here that uh, they just don't seem to want to let go of tonight. I'm not sure that they will. Six, well, they will. They will after the match is done, One certainly, but not presently because we're in a World Series semi final. Another great volley there from Marwan as he just holds his brother out. Well oh, that was ultra clever. Marwan Eight, sarcastically Court, intimating please, please. that there is absolutely nothing wrong with Mohammed's back. <laughs> That's a great shot. Got him on the run again. This is beautiful work from Marwan. Well, frustration Eleven there from nine. Mohammed. Game two, Do you Marwan. feel that there might Marwan actually be a little bit of residual stuff going on in the back of Mohammed El Shabagi? It's like an alley game. There's the awkward movement. It's well played from Mohammed El Shabagi. Incredible. No let. Well, the no let's been given. He doesn't have a review either. He's lost the review. That could be a stroke, yep. Well, he's got the stroke. He's going to review it. Marwan would do the same in this scenario. So it is a stroke. Mohammed El Shabagi hangs on. This was already happening in the fourth game for me, that Mohammed was not the usual beast, aggressive, vocalising, when he was even coming back, and we see here... Well, he's, he's bending gone. over every time now, and uh, this is not looking good for Mohammed El Shabagi at all. It's eight match balls, so quite a strange finale to the fifth game after such an intense fourth. And there it is. So, Marwan El Shabagi wins again in Alguna. Three games for two. 3-2 this time round, not 3-love. 11-6, 6-11, 11-9, 10-12.